contamination and off-spec cargo claims for tankers are one of the most costly. Claims generally reach $100,000 and are occasionally over $1 million. Contamination claims cost on average 10 times more than shortage claims. The main defense against a contamination claim is to take samples of the cargo at set times during cargo operations. Always wear the correct PPE when sampling and handling cargo. The required PPE for taking samples depends on how hazardous, corrosive or toxic the cargo is. This information is highlighted in the cargo's safety data sheet. Before sampling, ensure that all equipment used for sampling is clean and dry. There have been numerous cases where samples have failed analysis due to dirty sampling equipment alone. The manifold sample is the most significant sample. The manifold is the point at which the custody of the cargo passes from the terminal to the vessel. This sample represents the condition of the cargo that the vessel is receiving. Once the first flow of the cargo is received at the manifold, take the manifold sample. Manifold sampling can be considered restricted sampling as there is a small quantity of cargo and vapour exposed to the atmosphere. Carry out a visual inspection of the sample. Once the first foot of cargo is loaded in all the tanks, take the first foot samples using the vessel's closed sampling system. Depending on the nature of the cargo, restricted sampling may be accepted. Always undertake joint sampling. A trained ship's crew member acts as the owner's representative alongside the charterer's representative surveyor. If joint sampling is not possible, the crew must always take samples as per the vessel's SMS procedures. Cargo requiring closed gauging as per the IBC code will also require closed sampling. In some trades, loading is suspended while samples undergo analysis. If the sample analysis results return off spec, these can then be compared with the manifold sample to determine where the problem arose. Similarly, after completion of loading, take composite samples of all tanks. Before discharging, retake composite tank samples along with a manifold discharge sample. If there is a claim for contamination, the various samples can be compared to discover where the contamination occurred. After drawing samples, label them, seal them with a unique seal number and record them in the ship's sample registry, retaining them on board in the designated sample locker. Sample testing is carried out in dedicated laboratories ashore. During cargo operations, if samples show any signs of being off spec or have failed analysis, operations should be suspended and the company's management and P&I club contacted for further advice.